Hi there, I'm Barbara Turley and you're watching another episode of Feminine Wealth TV, the show that uncovers the diamond tips on creating truly conscious wealth from change makers, world shakers and wealth creators. How difficult is it to be a millionaire? Well, my guest today, she thinks it's pretty easy and she actually creates millionaires. From a Nebraskan farm to the millionaire maker, please welcome Laurel Langmar to the show. Oh, thank you. It's good to see you, Barbara. Thank you so much. I managed thank to you. squeeze her in on her very tight trip to Sydney, so That's it's right. amazing to have you here. Thank you. So I just want to start the show. I mean, you've got such an interesting background story in mm. your millionaire journey and mm -hmm. your entrepreneur journey. Right. Can you just give us like the short and quick... How did you go from a farm girl in Nebraska? With no conversation about money. No. Like no yeah. uh, understanding about money. Um, yeah. In fact, you know, it, when I was in the secret, I said, you know, we would just have this negative conversation about you work hard, work hard, work hard. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, I had like two minutes in the secret where I said, you know, money comes easily and frequently. Right? Yeah, I know so, that. And I love, I love your views on, on, on the whole, and we'll talk about that, on manifesting money. I mean, there's more to it than just it's, it's way dreaming it up. You know? Because you have to have the right action. So, yeah. um, so from there, at 17, I was given the book Think and Grow Rich, which was completely life-changing and probably one of those first reads. It was like, oh my gosh, something yeah. resonates with how Who gave I really you that think. Book? Dennis Waitley. Uh, you were a friend. Yes. Last at 17. Yeah. And then um, I started my first business. I mean, young. I had a lot of little businesses, but at 17 was my big formal one. Um, knew how to make money. Um, oh man, long journey. And then, yeah, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot yeah. to it. It's more just yeah. the, the beginning. So the book, that was obviously a pivotal moment. That was a pivotal yeah. moment. Yeah. Um, starting my own company at 17 was a big moment. And yeah. then by 21, I had learned to leverage and I had a personal training business, aerobics instruction business, mm. and uh, I was making up over a half million dollars, so I knew how to make money. I knew how to leverage yeah. other people. Uh, I loved selling. Because um, yeah. I also believe that selling serving. When you know that you can help people's lives, you owe it to them to sell hard and serve because you know Absolutely. you're going to help them. Absolutely. And all the women out there to hear friend. this. Oh, you know, I know. Because when most women, I know. Yeah. It's not a bad thing. Money, Oh, yeah. no, it's the only thing. If you don't want to sell, stay poor. I mean, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, and really, selling is about, like I said, serving other people. So after that journey, then I actually went to work for Chevron on a huge contract. I started as a contract, and then I couldn't afford the helicopter insurance. But I was hired to design 272 fitness centers on offshore oil rigs. So it was oh, in this huge wow. male-dominated space, flying around in helicopters and seaplanes. Yeah. And then I needed to really get back to my financial love. So I met Kiyosaki in 1996. I was the master distributor of the cash flow game and the Rich Dad Poor Dad organization, one of the original group. Yeah. And then um, just found my own voice and my own work. And it was really this whole manifesting thinking, but really without the right action, you don't get it done. And yeah. so that's probably why work is so different. I teach people how to sequence, do the right thing at the right time to be millionaires in three to five years. So I'm not just making millionaires. I'm doing it really fast. How many millionaires have you created so far? Thousands. Thousands, I thousands. know. Thousands So this stuff thousands. really works. It really works. I've been doing it 19 years in total. Yeah. From, from when I started with Kiyosaki, I've been doing it, you know. Yeah. yeah. And tell me, so, years. I mean, you've created so many millionaires and you've met billions of people. Mm. Some of them have not become millionaires. Correct. What is it that... What is the thing that stops people? What's the main... Themselves. Yeah. Themselves. And their limitation of thinking they can do it, they're worth it. Um, and then the other part of it is they hang out with each other. You know, what I teach you is... Yeah. Yeah. Together. Yeah, they yeah. bitch and moan yeah. and, like, you know, things negative. And, and they, they won't reach towards millionaires. I mean, I have billionaires that mentor me. And I think the other thing uh -huh. is I don't even understand how someone could not have a coach or a mentor at all times. I mean, the greatest athletes have them, so, and the greatest business people have them. Yeah. But yeah. the average person who kind of wants to get through and get wealthy, I mean, you can read books, but I tell you, the fastest way is you hang out with yeah. them. Spend time with millionaires, spend time with us, see how we roll. And, and I mean, It changes everything. You change everything. Yeah. And modeling is the fastest behavior change that anybody can do, especially women. Mm. So, like, get side by side and run. Yeah. And because get away from the people who are negative. Just fire them. I think as well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. fire them. I love that. That's yeah. the, the quote of the day. Fire, fire the negative them. people in your life. You know, I mean, because I've heard you say before, it's one thing to read the book. And, you know, you can read lots of books and people buy lots of books. and My they books read are really good. Your five New York Times for Your sake, books are really good. Books. good. They're very good books. But I do agree with you. I think, you know, so. the fastest way to get somewhere yeah. fast is to have a mentor yeah. or a coach that yeah. can show you the path. And that has done it. You know, there's a lot yeah. of people in this coaching space. I mean, you know, I was just yeah. talking to somebody, you know, here we have a show here tonight, yeah, yeah. you know. It was kind of a millionaire tour last night. I know all of them. None of them are millionaires. Oh, really? No, yeah. it's really sad. And they're, and, but there's they're a good lot salespeople. Of, there's, yeah, and they're good fakers. Good yeah. people, you know. Well, they're so, trying to make themselves millionaires by selling this concept of... It's exhausting. 
Yeah, yeah. So, so know what you really want and be only uh, mentored, coached, and take advice from people who really have done it. Mm -hmm. You know, and ask the hard questions. You know, get close to them and yeah. ask the hard questions. So let's talk quickly about women. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, my area is all about, you know, coaching women yeah. into this wealth thing. Because I believe that women can be amazing with mm -hmm. business, with wealth, with selling, with everything. If they just, if we just, oh, I'm saying they, but I mean, we're women too, but mm -hmm. just they need to grasp hold of it a bit more. And it's that yeah. self-belief or there's something. And I was interested to know what do you see as the differences with women particularly or when it comes to wealth. They're sort of shunning it a bit, like I don't want to be... It's like well, it's and they're still, money thing. And there's still a man is a plan. You know, I have a program yeah. for women. It's called Wealth Diva. A yeah. man is not a plan. Mm. And so there's still this, well, if I go to work, I'm going to create some extra money for the household versus I am the income for the household. Like, I'm a single mom. I, mean, I, I became a single mom intentionally. I mean, mm. the... My, my son's now 14 and his yeah. father wasn't ready to be a dad. So I, I knew going into the game that I was going to be a single mom. Mm. So, you know, my first question, my question for all the women watching is, so what does it cost you to have that life? And yeah. I, I, mine was 40000 a month. So, so here we go, because I'm going to have a nanny. Yeah. I lived on the water in Sausalito, which is just north of San Francisco, most beautiful place. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I travel a lot. And so it's, instead of saying, well, I hope I'm going to make it or how am I going to do it, it's I'm going to get a business I'm going to do it. And I'm going to do it. And I'm going to demand it makes it. Now, the good news with women is that two-thirds of the businesses being created are started by women. But what I've noticed about most women is that they only shoot for maybe 100,000 quarter Small. million. Yeah. yeah, they don't go for the million. No. Most men get into business to become, like, to make millions. Mm. You know, so... Do you think it's this thing with women, like, they're always saying to me, oh, it's not really about the money for me, I want to serve. And I'm going, yeah, but... But money <laughs> lets you serve. So money lets you serve It's an excuse to not have it. Yeah. So yeah. they just don't seem to... There's this push-pull with the money thing. But unless we get this money thing right, we're not going to be able to serve Ultimately at a serve. global level. Never. The way we need to. No, nope. because you can't take care of yourself. And a couple hundred thousand is its a great, you know, it's a nice family income, you know. But it is not going to give you the money to do what you really, really want to do. Yeah. And, and then here's what's also interesting, having done this for so long and have mm -hmm. such a formula for it and just know how to do it, is one, it, like the first hundred, two hundred thousand is the hardest money you'll ever make because you're not trained as an entrepreneur yeah. and you're struggling, especially the first hundred because you're living on a lot of it and then you don't have yeah. the money to hire the proper web designers and the videographers and the photographers and the copywriters and the accountants. Like You, you need to hire a team because you don't know what you're doing, so mm -hmm. don't try to figure it all out by yourself. And you know, it's interesting because men and women try to do it all by themselves, and they're no good at half the things that's required to run a company. Then, then so you wonder why you fail. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah. because you're trying to do everything you were designed to do. So I said, let's get past that six-figure mark. And then the good news is once you know, once you get in that 100,000, 200,000 range, a million's right around the corner. Mm. Like, That's I don't exciting. Do anything else like That's make a million bucks in a company. Like I always say, don't get out of bed for less than nine. <laughs> That's the quote of the day. Don't get out of bed. I'm not getting out of bed tomorrow unless it's a million dollars on the table. I love it, Laura. <laughs> so it's so tell me, so, like, share with I us your. I mean, tonight we're going to see it tonight live. But I want you to share with us. Yeah, you're saying to watch this. Your, you? Oh yeah, 100. percent I am. I'm live blocking you. <laughs> yeah. So you've got a formula for success. Mm -hmm. Can you share it with us? Can you share mm. your steps with us? Absolutely. Um, so there's a lot to it, so I'll kind of give you the short. Just give us version. the... Yeah. So first of all, do what you already know how to do, because we're occupationally trained to do something, and you have a skill set. So what I find about most entrepreneurs are wandering around trying to find the thing. You already know oh, what the, the next thing rich is. quick thing, and yeah. No, this, and, and the stuff with mine is, I mean, mine's just this, the same, the same way you get rich is how you always get rich for centuries. I mean, there's no, like, newfangled thing that I teach. I just teach it in the right order. So mm -hmm. you make a lot of money through an entrepreneurial venture. So do what you know how to do. Mm -hmm. And then you have to do it through corporate structure. You have to be incorporated. Sole traders, sole proprietors never make it. Yeah. Uh, they make it just a little bit and they overpay taxes. So I would say corporations make the money, individuals get taxed. So make all your money inside the company and make it a proper company. Mm -hmm. um, and then you've got to learn to invest. And that's probably the biggest scary piece for most people. Yeah. And the only reason it's scary is they don't know how. So I say when you need to learn in and like you need to lean in and learn how you're going to invest your money. So once you make it, you keep it, you invest it. I mean, we are doing so much right now. I mean, I have over 72 companies. Um, Kevin Harrington is one of my original partners. He was yeah. on the Shark Tank. And we just did eight companies in the last maybe eight, ten weeks. So you were acquiring companies at warp speed. We're helping people raise capital because that's really where the game's played. You know what I love about when you talk about this? You, it's fun. And I've heard you say I this before. So much fun. Like, my making like, money is a lot of fun. 
Well, and learning how to and do it. And learning how to do it is a lot It's of fun. creative. It's creative. It's a lot of fun. And I think a lot of people see it as a lot of hard work, a lot of overwhelm, well, so they don't stress. Know anything. Because they don't know anything. So then I just say keep a job and stay broke. Or learn. Or learn. Yeah, and enjoy the ride of learning. And I mean, you're going to enjoy it if you're around the people who love to do it. I mean, I love business. You know, yeah. my, my family from Nebraska, they're so worried about me because I'm not employed. And, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a job. <laughs> Thank God. And you're a woman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I, don't have a, you know, I reckon you're I don't unemployable. Have <laughs> and I don't have a husband. You know, the whole thing's a miserable yeah. failure. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've been knowing the you definitions know. of women. Oh, my gosh. So, and just as as mothers, I mean, I, there's a whole yeah. body of work I need to do around mothering. Because I take my kids all over the world. My kids have the most amazing yeah, passport. Amazing. Yeah. And you know, people say, how do you afford it? Well, first of all, we don't do it on vacations. We put business around all of it. So I was with Branson like last year speaking in South Africa. So we put a safari around it, took my kids. And, ah, you know, right. So, yeah, we went to London, then went down to Zermatt skiing. I mean, so whatever we do, we put business around it. So my kids don't even know what a vacation is. We just do business trips. And we yeah. just make money around the world doing what we're doing. And we serve along the way. You know, yeah. we do a lot of and what about schooling for them, then? How do you manage that? Half and half. That's yeah. probably, yeah. See, I like this idea as well. I hate this idea that my kids are going to be in school, so therefore that rules what I am able to do. No, you just have to figure it out with the right schools. And so they're, you know, they take a lot of school on the road with mm. them, and we make sure their homework gets done. And you know, Well, they probably learn the more valuable skills anyway. They, they do, and they have great, great, great uh, grades yeah. and super smart. Yeah. And they're motivated because they see what the world's about. So what would you say, what would you say, I mean, there's a lot of people stuck in corporate jobs, right? Bored, you know, tired, lacking energy, all these sorts of things. It's very hard to make that jump, though, to, to say, even though they're really skilled at what they do, yep. to try to leave the corporate world is a tricky one. Do you it's, see them coming up against 120 that days, I'll help them. 120, 120 days. 120 days, you can get out of your job. Yeah. So first, I mean, you have to think, what's the skill set you do within that job mm. that you could create as an entrepreneur? Yeah. And then look at the different skill sets, look at the different businesses around that skill set, and what could you do? Because somebody else is already making millions doing it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So the difference is how do you take that occupation and make it an entrepreneurial venture, which serves other people. So I say the definition of an entrepreneur is to serve other people, mm -hmm. right? So it's either you're solving problems or meeting needs. So in that, what can you do that also, and then that creates a reason for people to pay you. Like yes. You have to be compensated. You have, that's you the value exchange has to be. Honest. Has to yeah. be. Otherwise, it's not capitalism and there's no value and there's no worth. Yeah. Right? And um, so do what you already know, price it properly. And even if you're just doing it part time, like yeah. when I left Chevron because I had to become an employee, I couldn't afford the helicopter insurance. So I went through a five year stint of being employed. You know, that was like just killing my soul. So <laughs> I've, <it wasn't>, done that. <laughs> I've been there too. Oh, yeah, that's horrible. That. Yeah. Um, so I became just an executive coach. So I would coach, I mean, I was already mm -hmm. working at a cor very high level corporate you know, job. And so I was coaching other executives and found my path out. Yeah, and then I started doing financial. Coaching. And then at some point, you have to take the jump. You have, you to, have say, to jump. No, in fact, I, I, money is not going to come in large quantities until you commit. Until you commit, yeah, because it's you're not, one foot in, one foot yeah. out. I would say, you know, my my yes energy book is say yes and figure it out. Yes. So say yes and figure it out isn't I'm going to figure it out and then say yes. It doesn't work like that, and that's mm -hmm. where most of us are wired. Because you also, you know, people hearing this, especially women hearing this and thinking, oh man, it's very critical. I'm not critical at all. Yeah. You came from an occupational training. Schooling is designed to teach you how to get a good job. Yeah, MBA all... programs, which are massive bad attitudes, I call them, oh, is this girl, to get you a big job raise yeah. versus a massive bank account. And the only way you learn true entrepreneurialism, ever, and I'm always asked this, is on the street. I just yeah, did it. Hustle. Get out there. I, yeah, and, yeah. and I did it with other coaches and mentors. Again, I have never had a year without a coach or a mentor. I think it's the most ridiculous choice to do that. And, 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 and women will it. not pay for themselves. Oh, yeah. it's some of the best money you'll ever spend. That's because you have to think in that money you're going to spend... You don't even know the costly errors you're going to have mm -hmm. or the amount of connections or hookups that they yeah. can get you to. It's I mean, the leverage. You mentioned leverage that at the beginning. The leverage is extraordinary. Of, yeah. I mean, the word you said at the beginning of the, of the interview was the word leverage, and I really wanted to sort of circle back to that yeah. because, I mean, uh, you know, I came, I've come from the financial industry background where leverage is everything, right? Yeah. I mean, that's just the whole game, right? And yeah. I always sort of say to people, the whole keys with wealth are you create, create value and then leverage it, yeah. and then that's wealth, right? Yeah. So whatever way you're doing it. So I think a lot of people, um, and you'd see this as well, the solopreneurs, the, the, the bit is that they've created value, but they're not leveraging it. At all. At all. So leverage is really key, isn't yep. it, in what you teach and, I mean, well. I'm in mentoring and mastermind programs that cost anywhere between twenty five dollars to $75,000, and I'm there to meet the same people who want the same thing. Yeah. 
you know, and I, I end up coaching a lot of them, you yeah, know, but they also connect me and um, it's just, if you, it's who you know. It opens you, the and door. Guys, so it's huge, huge. The gracious. networking and the, and, the, and the group, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Well, Laurel, so one last question. Yeah. Obviously, you've, I mean, you're, you're kind of, you kind of made at the it, top right? of You're at game. the top of your game, right? right? What's left for Laura Langham? What's um, the future? The next level of leverage. So now, yeah. so this summer, I'm bringing people from seven countries, and I'm going to train them on how to do my work. It's time other people teach it. Okay. I've perfected it. You know, I yes. held it like a little baby for a long time. Like, I do this three-day workshop. You're going to hear about it. Yeah. Everyone's guaranteed to make money in three days. And I've done it I've for eight it years. Yeah. It is the rockinest event. It's the only event in the world that you literally will walk out because you've made money. You've made money. You're yeah. guaranteed to make money. Three days to cash or something. It's called three days to cash. Yeah. And so I'm now training trainers to do that all over the world. Yeah. Um, it's time to release that one and let mm-hmm. a lot of people do it because um, the methodology just works. And then uh, we, I have this new cool thing that I've been doing. It's called the $100,000 challenge because I need people past that $100,000. 100000 yeah. is just a painful place. So... Um, I guarantee them 100000 in 365 days, but they have to do everything I say. That's the thing. And I have to do everything you say. Exact blueprint. Yeah. They have to do it, and they have to do it in the order. Yeah, because that's really And that really is where important. people screw up. They're like, oh, yeah. I don't want to. It's like, they, I think a lot of people look at the blueprint, and they'll say, well, it's like a little checklist. I've got to do a little of that today, a little of that tomorrow. Yeah, no, it doesn't work do like exact, that. And you have to ask for money every day. It is yeah. not difficult to find money. It's in your pocket. It needs to be in my pocket. Simple. Yeah. So how do I get it? This is what I've been as well. <laughs> it's exactly. Yeah, I'm going to provide you value, and I have to ask yeah. for it. Yeah. Yeah. That's it's so, as simple. Yeah. And it is actually as simple as that. I mean, I think what people say, "Hi, I'm so cash poor. I'm in money." I said, "How many times you ask for money today?" Oh, I didn't. I said, "Where do you think it's come from?" Yeah, yeah, if you don't ask for it, you're never going to get it. You're just going to have The universe is going, well, you know, clearly you don't really want it. So. No, you're going to sell the couch and, yeah, yeah. and do nothing so about it. get out and go serve. I always say, if you want money, go serve someone's life and ask for the couch. And that's the bit I actually love that you that's always it. say. And it's the bit that appeals to women as well. So all the women out there, you know, you can go out there and serve like, you know, serve the world as much as you want, but you ask must for ask for money in return. Yeah, and here's how simple money is, mm-hmm. right? Barbara, yeah. when do you want to start? How do you want to pay? Which credit card would you like to use? Simple. That's it. Yeah, and if they and if people waver and all that and go away, then maybe they're just not your client or they're not, you know. What do you do in that situation? You know um, the people who go, don't. oh, I, I don't know. I'm I'll say, so do you want to make money or not? Yeah, that's the yeah. Say, yes. yeah. I'll have to start I'll using that one. <laughs> Same thing when I'm say doing. Yes. So, Laurel, if the viewers want to know more about your amazing work, yeah. they want to connect with, with you and the work that you're doing, where should they go? So our global company is liveoutloud.com. Yeah. But we also have liveoutloudaustralia.com. Great. So you can go there, see where I am. I'll be back in July and October and do three-day workshops. And, you know, we've been... We've you're all over the world. I mean, you're going to Thailand. We have offices here. Yeah. 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 We have offices that's here right. and yeah. cool staff and... They get connected to our local community. We have lots and lots of grads. And then, yeah, I'm heading up to Thailand with Pat Masidi, who's also Australian. Oh, Pat, yeah. And yeah, so we're going to go yeah. teach more people. Teach more. Are you pe- teaching Thai people up there? No. Is that a dumb question? No, I come, uh, they come from all over the world for that one. For that particular okay. one. Right? I was wondering about that. And then I'm you zooming were. home. Then you Because it's our summertime, so I'm going to go. Do you take a break? Are you going to sit around all the time? <laughs> Actually, that's the thing. That's your, your whole life is a break. Because you, you, you love what you do. I love what I'm doing. Yeah. People say you work so hard. And it's really? I yeah. So. Doesn't everybody want that? Come on. This is why this is great. Great time. This is why this and is a great, great way to raise your kids. Laurel, it's been an absolute hey, pleasure. I'm so excited that I got you on the show. Yeah, I know it was too. a quick interview, but you're going to just provide so much value to the, to the people watching. Yeah, so. and you know, the other thing we could do, if they're interested, they can, yeah. we can create a little link and I'll give them, I have what's called the Millionaire Roadmap. How about we just give oh, yeah. everybody sure. a free one? I'll, I'll get the link we'll afterwards. Get, get link and if you're watching right now, the link should be just showing up right now. Yeah, perfect. Excellent. Good. Thanks very thank much, Laurel. And thank you for joining again for another week. I will see you next week for more Feminine Wealth TV.